if you're we? watching and you're rich and you own some NFTs, you know, please feel the need to fund us getting Invisalign or whatever we, everybody's just rich that has it. Yeah. Spend your money on better things. I like don't Botox, know. that's. <laughs> <laughs>
and there's like a whole community of apes online. Madonna's a part of it, uh, Jimmy Fallon, and each ape is like their own person. Well, yeah, according to like collections. So if you buy into a collection, then you have certain perks is what I've heard. Like it'll be like, you know, you get access to certain events and like so much exclusivity behind it. Digital bananas. Sure. Digital bananas. <laughs> wow. But I don't know, doesn't it seem like we're becoming even more far removed? from society, you know, yeah. like, let me, let me just own something in the digital world. I can't even use it. It has no value. Like I can't, you know, that's if there was one FT me. that one NFT that you saw that you'd be like, wow, that's something I think I could get behind. What would it be? Um, man, but what do NFTs do? Like, what do you, you, you hold it and you can't screenshot them, right? That's like illegal or, you know, it, it's on the Ethereum blockchain. <laughs> I always confuse the urethium with the urethra. Okay. So I get to make sure I say it quite slowly. And then, yeah, it just represents something online. It's like holding a piece of art. Okay. But now everybody thinks that they're, you know, there's only one Mona Lisa. But is it like that's a gift? Saying. Yeah, that's true. It's like a gift that you own the original rights to. I, I heard that uh, Dog Face, uh, the guy with the cranberry juice and the skateboard, he sold the original, vi he was trying to sell the original video. And then uh, Fleetwood Mac was like, man, we own, we own the song, oh. you know? So yeah, so it's like, there's weird stuff like that. So yeah. Imagine if Kim K sells the original NFT to that video that got her famous. Bro. I think her butt will break the internet again. I don't think it could all fit in an NFT. Truthfully. Yeah. They're <laughs> 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 horrible. <laughs> If you're watching and you're rich and you own some NFTs, you know, please feel the need to fund us getting Invisalign or whatever we get. Everybody's just rich that has it. Yeah. Spend your money on better things. I like don't Botox. Know. That's. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this is such an LA thing, but one of the conversations I found myself in at the bar the other day was about Botox and fillers, right? <laughs> and I was over here like taking note, like, oh, I didn't know these things. Yeah, like, Apparently, <laughs> Botox. Uh, it's preventative and fillers are to fill in the wrinkles you already have. So you'd want to get Botox when you're 30 and then fillers afterwards. What? But oh. I was like, I didn't know this was a thing, you know, like I think such I mean, LA talk. It's <laughs> such a, that <laughs> NFT is, you know, if you get an NFT, oh I will God. buy it. An I NFT is my wrinkle yeah, right yeah, here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You too, Martin. All right. I'm going to be Botox? the first investors of both yours NFTs. Just wait, I'm going to be like rich. That. You guys don't go anywhere. We're just getting this party started. The zoo will be right back. Rare.